In this section, I'm going to speak about two commands. The first one is text surface, and you can see that right now I have a surface created from previous project here. So I can go to insert command, and from here I can find surface base feature and find text surface. So I can select this, and based on this, I can go and select the thickness that I wish to add to this uh, surface. So what I want to do is to add something like 15 millimeters to this. So this is the surface that I'm going to add the thickness to that. And there is a direction. Which side do I wish to add this material? I wish to add it to the top of the surface. So if I click on preview, you can see that this is going to be something like 15 millimeters thicker than before. Of course, again, I can have reverse direction. And there are some more options that are not so important, like on the type of smoothing that you're going to do, you can easily understand that. So this is the thick surface command. But the next one that I wish to speak about is sous surface. Uh, to sous surface means to create a solid object out of a surface. And for this, what I'm going to do is to go to surface design and I want to add some surfaces to this object and then I'm going to convert it to a solid object. So although some of the commands I haven't spoken about, but it is very, very easy. To access the commands that you need for uh, surfacing, you need to go to start, go to mechanical design and select wireframe and surface design. From here, the context menu, the, the, the actual menu is going to change and also the commands on the right are going to change. I wish to go to menu. From here, everything is much easier. So you can see there are some commands in surfaces and under that, you can find multi-section service. Uh, this is very similar to multi-section solid, so you shouldn't be uh, in trouble using this. So the first line that I wish to have is this line, and the second line I wish to have is this line. And make sure that the arrows have the same direction, and then click on OK. This is the first surface that is created for me. I want to rotate this a little bit, so... Uh, so that I can use this command one more time. This time, this is going to be one of the lines, and this is another line, and you can see the arrows do not uh, point directly uh, to the same direction, so I'm going to point this to the other direction and click on OK. Now this is the second surface, and I'm going to have this come in one more time. So I go to Surfaces, the multi-section surface, and what I'm going to do is to select this surface, let's say, yes, this this line, and you can see that this is a little different from before because it is a curved line, it's kind of a spline, and this is the line I'm going to for, select for the second one. And both of them are showing the same direction, and if I click on preview, there is an error that says, uh, because these are not coplanar, you should have some guidelines, and the guidelines are already here, so I can select this line, and this line and both of them again have the same direction for the guidelines oh my god i just need to remove them so that i can have them here in guidelines so i should activate this and have this guide and this guide and then click the preview you can see that everything works just fine and i'm going to do the same thing here uh the reason that i did is to show you that here is empty inside and there is nothing in this so that's going to be an empty space in between i have multiple surfaces and i'm going to connect these surfaces to each other so let's go to guideline and of course i need to change the arrow here this is one of the guidelines and this is the other one and click on ok and now i have a closed surface here so what i need to do is to go to part design environment one more time so I go to start mechanical design part design environment. And from here, what I need to have is to select this and join them first of all, and then uh, sew the surfaces to here. So uh, first of all, let's go to so surface command. If I go to surface based features, you can see so surface here and it says object to sue this means that there is only one object selectable so this is why i told you i need to join this so let's select this and and i'm going to type c colon join in the bottom text box so that i can activate this and i'm going to join this one this one let me rotate this a little bit 
this one and this one and all of them are going to be joined to each other if i click on preview that's okay and the join is done and now i have join here and now i can go to insert go to surface space feature and select the surface the join is going to be my object is so and faces to remove and let's click on ok now it says a uh, sewing operator impossible computation due to incompatible orientation the orientation doesn't show the correct way so what i need to do is to change it and by clicking on that inside of the object is going to be pointed and now everything works just fine okay now i have a solid surface here so surface created a solid for me so one more time i'm going to double click on this feature let me zoom back a little bit so double clicking on that gives me a simplified geometry object here that means i can have this as one uniform uh, surface if i click on here and go here you can see that just by clicking on this the whole surface is going to be selected and the only reason that you see these extra lines is because it's because of the join join is visible so if i right click on join in specification tree and click on hide you can see that now I don't have anything here and the surface is going uh, is uh you know suit to the other side for me and this is exactly what i wish to have also i want to show you a very little comparison uh, between sue surface and close surface command uh, i cannot apply close surface command i will show you why if i just go to sue surface command and i'm going to delete this right now this feature is going to go and the join i want to show it again this is the join that we have here i can use such a join to create a closed surface and it means that if i have a surface with a closed space i can convert it to a solid object in my case it is going to be a little um impractical that's because i don't have a planar face here right now you can see something that i have here is kind of a uh, very very complicated but the command would be under insert surface space feature and close surface i can go and select this join and then click on ok like i said in my case it is not going to uh, create this because it would say that it is not a planar surface so if you have a planar surface you can do this and you can get a solid but so surface uh, other than create a solid out of the surface it will kind of join it with the rest of the body that you have here